Well, as Sarah Coates is reporting, the U.S. is sending a small number of troops to the Middle East as Israeli forces and Hezbollah fighters intensify their cross-border attacks. In fact, the troops would actually add about to the 40,000 American forces already in the region. Well, for further clarity, from Haifa, we have with us Aaron Singer joining us. Thanks so much, Aaron, for making time for us, as always. Do any leaders have a good answer to the question, tell me how this ends, and your reaction to the state of emergency and whether you think... Hezbollah has the capability to further retaliate. Yeah, they are capable. We have been feeling it in the last two days. They have been launching rockets to areas that were not targeted in the last 11 months. If we were used to see Israeli cities and villages um, being targeted only in the Galilee area, now there's a new reality in Israel. We, I'm, I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm looking at the list of places that we have been targeted today. Look at, look at the list. Um, Haifa was targeted. The, the Haifa Bay was targeted. Um, and you have um, places that are, are um, beyond Haifa, um, southbound of Haifa, where you can find that, where you can see that rockets of Hezbollah were launched from Lebanon. Now, this new state of emergency, um, that has been declared by the Israeli government is for the entire state of Israel. The government of Israel is now telling the Israeli citizens that from now on, each and every city all over Israel can be targeted, not only in the northern part. Tel Aviv is going to be targeted. The Tel Aviv uh, raider area will be targeted. The Sharon cities, even Jerusalem, and even... Uh, uh, in other places, in the southern part of Israel, will be targeted. Beersheba, maybe even Elat. We are now in a new reality. And you know what? If you ask the, the average Israeli today, he will tell you that they, the Israelis will tell you, I think I didn't, I didn't make any survey about it, but, but you can see it on the, on the surface, on, on the polls in Israel, on the Israeli channels. Israelis are much more willing to sacrifice today because Ever since uh, October 7th, ever since um, the great massacre that, that, uh, in which Israelis were slaughtered and, and butchered and raped, something happened to the people of Israel. Something happened to the Israeli citizens. They are more willing to, to sacrifice uh, for the um, defense of Israel, for the, for, for, for the sake of their children and, and, and grandchildren. And this is why you will not see demonstrations of Israelis saying that they're, 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 they are fed up. With, with the with the um, um, with the army activities in the north, no Israelis want to go back to their houses in the northern part of Israel, right next to the border with Lebanon, knowing that their government has done everything it can do in order to make sure that we will not have another October seventh that will that Hezbollah in the north will not do what Hamas did on October seventh.